find the most interesting about myself? Everything. <laughs> well, that's true. But I, what I find interesting about myself is that I get really stressed over the little things. I'll let one small tiny thing ruin my entire day, even if it doesn't really matter. Oh, I can't go on with this class! Oh, my films won't be as good as Nathan's! Oh. And what I realized over the past couple of years with, you know, meeting new people, I realized that there are people out there that struggle with the same things that I do. Um, they usually have the same amount of stress levels that I do and get stressed very easily. So I want to make a list of ways to be your happiest self. How to be happy. Step one, knowing your passions. Know what your passions are and know what you want to do in the future. You don't need to know these things right away, right off the bat, but explore different talents. Find out what you're bad at. The idea of you singing sounded fantastic, but your actual singing is trash. Find out what you're decent at. The more you do those things that you are decent at, the better you get at them, and the more your confidence grows. And confidence equals happiness. The second step is stop comparing yourself to others. Don't compare yourself to others. The more you do that, the more it kind of hurts your self-esteem. Just because you aren't as attractive as that one person, doesn't mean you have to beat yourself up for it. Even though you think this one person is so perfect at this one thing you want to be great at, it doesn't do you justice to complain about it. All you need to do is try to do your best. Just because my films might not be up to par with Tony's or Nathan's or even Daniello's, I still need to try to do my best so I can keep myself happy. If I compare myself to others, those three people, I'm going to hurt my self-confidence and that's not respecting myself. Which leads me to my next step. Treat yourself with respect. This means to every day love yourself and try to better yourself even more. Even little things will do you the biggest favors, like keeping a good upper body posture and not slouching. Try spending less time on social media, read a good book, go outside, exercise, make music. For crying out loud, just do something that will make your life more enjoyable. <sighs> try doing things that give you more knowledge. That stuff's priceless. And there you go! That is a guide for you to keep your sad butt and my sad butt happy. Hopefully you actually use this as a guide for when you are upset because I want to be one of those people that makes others happy. You know, I want to make you happier than the cat videos you find on YouTube. Actually, you know what, just, just ignore everything I said, you know, when you're upset you can just watch cat videos on YouTube instead. I am an avid time traveler. Today, you, yes you, can learn how to time travel. No, no, not like the movies. I'm talking real deal. Your first step is planning. You need to, you need to ponder your thoughts. You need to figure out, why am I time traveling? If you want to go back and kill Hitler, that's a very noble thing of you, but everything will be thrown off. You ever heard about the butterfly effect? Not with Ashton Kutcher, the real thing. We're gonna break down the math, get the appropriate parts. It came in the mail today. Always remember to be cautious. Radioactive material is not safe. If you are under 13, get parent supervision. Now that you have everything you need, you are ready to build the time machine. Take your supplies, spend plenty of time gathering them, push them all together in their appropriate spots, angles, whizzly boops, gizmo. Here's the finished product. Results may vary. You cannot test it on yourself or any living thing, so you have tested it with something. Preferably a clock or a stopwatch to make sure the traveling can actually take place safely. This is test number three. Rosie has eaten the time machine and it is in her digestive tract. Oh my god! It's been 10 minutes. As you can see, test subject 3 has come back. You are ready to actually do the traveling part. This is personally my favorite part. Got, got the time machine back from test subject 3. Hopefully everything goes as planned. Also, be mentally prepared for the side effects. Matter of fact, I can't think of one time I didn't tra time travel without vomiting. 
All right, thank you for watching. That's how you time travel. I hope you... No time. They're coming. Who's coming? ISIS. They... They're here. Burn all the time. I remember this one time... <clears throat> I accidentally traveled into a different dimension instead of going forward in time. <laughs> really, James? You think this is some kind of joke? Well, it's not! It's for real! Now, don't call me back until you want to talk business! <laughs> Whoa there, cowboy. Now, if you're wondering why he's freaking out, the answer's simple. He's very stressed. Here in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to deal with stress with three easy steps. One, stay positive. Two, think through your actions, and most importantly, number three, ha oh, God. I told you to stay frozen! God! And step three, have some confidence. Let's go! Sorry about this, guys. My office is a little messy. But you know what? That tends to happen when your best friend leaves you with your wife! But I digress. I came here to teach you about stress and how to manage it. And the first step is to always stay positive. Now, here in the following clip I'm about to load up, I'm gonna show you what not to do. And then the next, I'll show you how to stay positive. You ready? Let's go. Hey there, Gabriel. Yeah, Judd. Got an assignment for you. I'm kind of busy. I you think I give a flying hoot? What you're doing, Gabriel? This needs to be done within the next four hours, or you're getting the boot. That big southern boot. Now, what do you have to say for yourself? Ah! Shut up! Now, as you can see here, obviously, he thought negatively, which caused him to freak out. Now, let's try that again with Nathan using a more level-headed approach. Hey there, Gabriel. Yeah, Judge, what's up? You lousy, worthless. What? You got four hours, okay? Take a look, Are take you... a long look. I don't want to hear any excuses that you always seem to have about how you can't do your work. Listen, I don't care if your mother passed away last night. That's the cycle of life! Do your work, Gabriel! Four hours! Sounds like cheese on a Dorito. I'll get it done. So, step two. What do we do about it? Well, see, in it. Oh, hello. Here's your coffee, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Get out! Go! Oh! Step two. Now, in this step, what we're going to have to do is think through our actions and not say anything rash. Now, let's see what happens when we don't think through our actions. Oh my god, Jacob, I'm literally so stressed out. I can't even. Like, I literally have this huge math this morning. I don't have time to study. I have to work tonight. I have honey, like, honey, six honey, projects honey. and... Honey. Get out! Whoa, Jake's in the doghouse now. But let's see what he does when he thinks through his actions and does it stress-free. Oh my god, Jake, I'm literally so stressed right now. Like, I, I don't know what to do. I have, like, three projects and a huge test on before. I have to work, like, every night time. I'm just so stressed out. I don't know what to do. <laughs> just please. I've got a lot on my plate right now. And I cannot even deal with this right now. Step three is very basic. Just to have confidence. And know at the end of the day, everything's going to be all right. Oh, uh, well, what do you want? That, that, that's my cat. That's not your cat. That's my cat. Get out! I'll tell you what is and what isn't your cat! Here, here are the freaking clips for how to be confident. God! Your name's not look at me when you talk to me. Yes, yes. Well, Chris, feast your eyes on my wife, our honorary guest for this interview. She looks pretty today, doesn't she? Yeah. Look at my wife when you talk to her! Yeah, she looks pretty today. That's absolutely right. So, your job is gonna sell yourself to my wife. Yeah, Chris, um, sell me. Uh, uh, no, uh, bit of a freak out by me, huh? Yes, but now, let's see me try it with a more confident approach. On to the truck. 
Is that crystal clear? Yeah. How about my wife, Chris? She's pretty, right? Sure. Oh, no, 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 no. She is gorgeous! Fine. So, Chris, sell yourself to this woman. Uh, if you're being honest with me, what you want me to do is take a shoe to a truck. Why am I having to sell anything? It's a great point, you got the job. Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how to lay out an ultimate frisbee. A layout is when a player lays out or like dives for a disc and it's normally like a big play or highlight of a game. Some basic things you could use while laying out is a good pair of cleats. You don't need them, but they'll help dramatically. Um, clothes you don't mind getting dirty, because most likely you'll get muddy doing this. And a frisbee, of course. Catching the disc in Ultimate Frisbee can sometimes be a little tricky. You want to catch it by the rim. You don't want to do it pancake style, because then you'll probably injure yourself. And sometimes even, you might want to try catching it with just one hand, so you can use the other hand to maybe brace your fall. Now when it comes to landing an ultimate frisbee, there is no really right way. You just want to land as naturally as possible. Now to do this you could focus on landing on your chest and letting your body extend and this takes some practice. Mark, how do you feel? Yeah, Hollywood go. Go. Hey Hollywood. Hey Hollywood go. Go. Also, there's many ways to practice laying out. One way to practice laying out is to have someone sit on their knees and hold the disc out in front of them. Now you can practice laying out in a more controlled manner. If you're still worried about getting hurt, start at a slower speed. You could even put a mat underneath you. Now you're ready to use a layout on the field. Now go out there and do some layouts. For this video, I'm going to show you how to For this video, I'm going to show you how to babysit your younger sibling. The things you'll need are yourself, a phone, and your younger sibling. Okay, so now we move on to step number one, to interact with them. They'll probably be, I mean, maybe a little confused. So, you know, you just want to walk up to them, probably say something along the lines of, Hey buddy, mom and daddy left, and I have to watch you now. They might be a little angry because... If they're like my little brother, they probably think you're mean. And he might attack you. <sighs> okay, so maybe that wasn't a great idea. So now we're gonna move on to step number two. Play some games. Hey, hey buddy, you wanna play hide and seek? Um, of course, sure. Okay, I'll count first then. One, two, Okay, so now that we're done with that, 
We'll move on to step number three. He's probably hungry by now, so we're gonna get him some food. What? Did I forget something? He oh, needs God. some milk! Oh, milk! After all of those things, he's probably tired by now, so we're gonna take it up to the bedroom, put him down for a nap. You ready for bed? Okay. That's how you babysit your brother. <laughs> 